you guys? It's your boy Alex West Collects here bringing the most in-depth action figure views here on YouTube and today we're taking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends the Infinity Saga Bruce Banner from the Avengers Infinity War. I was able to grab this off of Amazon pre-order this quite a while ago um, and I know a lot of people have been a little iffy on this wave. You know a lot of these figures have been kind of re-releases maybe plussed up or changed in some small variations but as far as this Bruce Banner figure goes, this is one of the few that is pretty much a new figure. Uh, we did receive a, a, like a MCU Bruce Banner uh, within that Amazon 4-pack. It was Bruce Banner, Thor, um, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. Uh, very different look. This is definitely a brand new head sculpt the first time. I believe we are seeing this in the Marvel Legends line. Uh, different suit. The body mold, I would assume, is probably the same for your standard uh, Marvel Legends suited body. But we will get into that in this figure review. But take a look at the packaging. I love that the window box is back. You can see the figure uh, here. You get the awesome Marvel Studios The Infinity Saga logo with the Bruce Brand, uh, Banner nameplate. The Avengers logo, Avengers Infinity War up top, the Marvel Legends logo on the top. Uh, right above on the top of the box, you'll see Avengers Infinity War, Bruce Banner. Flipping over to the side, I love this image of the Avengers. Looks so clean, so nicely done by uh, the Hasbro packaging team. Same on the other side here. Looks pretty good. Uh, really like the design for that. On the back, you'll see the movie uh, poster on the back. Uh, lots of uh, different Avengers listed here and a nice little read-up. Uh, but let's come back. We're going to crack Bruce Banner out of the packaging and see exactly what this figure has to offer. So here we have our Bruce Banner out of the packaging. And he does not come with a lot of accessories. He comes with only a set of interchangeable open hands. That is a bummer for a $25 figure. I feel like we could have got something out of some glasses, a lab coat, or something to interchange and make this a little more interesting. But nonetheless, that is all you get. Uh, I believe all that probably budget went to this new head sculpt that you will see uh, for Mark Ruffalo. Unfortunately, mine looks like it's got a little bit of a glue mark on the side. I, hopefully, I can kind of clean that up um, if you guys can see that right there on his face. But I do like the likeness of the actor. It looks great. You can see the nice kind of sculpting and the, the salt and pepper in the hair. Uh, I really like the look of it. Take a look at the back. You can see the curls and all the lines in the hair. So the head sculpt I do like. This is brand new. Um, as far as the attire, you get kind of like a checkered shirt on underneath here. You'll see the jacket. It kind of looks like a flat purple. Uh, it has a nice kind of color to it. I could definitely see this being as a jacket he wore. Um, unfortunately, you can see the shirt coming through. I hate this on a lot of figures. Uh, some of the new um, companies are like Mattel or with the WWE are kind of painting the arms in. So... Uh, on the side where you will not notice the different cut between the jack and the shirt. I wish Hasbro would kind of go uh, with that model too because it really does add a little something to the figure. You can see the sculpting on the jacket with the pockets. On the back, nothing really crazy here. Uh, he does have the double jointed pinless elbows here. Does come with a set of fisted hands that are on the figure. As far as the uh, the pants, they do look like your, your you know traditional uh, suited pants that you would get with uh, any of your Marvel Legends figures. Got the black belt, kind of like a, a grayish black finish to it. Uh, the shoes also look like a little bit of a matte finish. I do like the difference, and they're not your traditional, like, shiny black shoes that we get all the time with, like, uh, you know, uh, the Stan Lee figure or from a Tony Stark figure. So I do like that. I will point out I freaking hate uh, the design of the shoe mold uh, for these Marvel Legends. I feel like these figures never stand on their own. They're always toppling over. They're such a pain in the ass to balance. But uh, if you guys want to see the sculpt of the pants on the back. So nonetheless, nothing too crazy exciting about this figure. It is, you know, another character in civilian gear. But the head sculpt does look really good. Going through some quick articulation points on this figure. So the head does look up pretty good. You will uh, see the little hinge uh, joint here underneath kind of sticking through. It does look down pretty good too. Uh, the arm does go up on the side. A little stiff on my shoulder joint. Uh, of course, the arm will fully rotate. Uh, you do have the bicep cut, the double jointed pinless elbows here. You guys can see that. There is a rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge. Uh, as far as the waist, you do get this kind of crunch on the ab crunch here uh it does move forward pretty good so you will get some articulation on that there is a waist swivel uh as far as your legs uh they do do the splits about that much kick up pretty good you do get the double jointed knees they are pinned here you will see the pinholes on the side as far as it going back there really, really isn't too much there there is a thigh cut as well uh the feet do hinge up and down even they are a little stiff you do get ankle rocker as well so a lot of good articulation points for a suited figure here and just some quick size comparison. So on the left, we have the Thor that came with this same uh, Infinity Saga series. You can see how much bigger he is than the Bruce Banner. And just wanted to bring another suited body. Here we have a Tony Stark figure. Uh, you can see 
as far as how I was talking about the shoes where they were kind of shiny versus the flat finish. So I do like that. Um, he is a little taller than Tony, but just to give you some differentiations with this Bruce Banner figure. As we have Bruce Banner deep in thought here, if you guys are new to the channel and have enjoyed this review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. As far as this Bruce Banner figure goes, I'll be honest, there is a little bit more left to be desired. I don't feel like a lot comes with this figure. I mean, you get a set of fisted hands, you get these hands where you can kind of have them like put it over his jaw where he's thinking. They kind of throw in like some interchangeable glasses, some kind of like lab notes, or it's just something to really plus it up. It just seems a little plain. It is nice to add to the collection, don't get me wrong, but at $25, I don't know, I just feel like they should have included a little something more. I feel like I see that more and more with these Marvel Legend figures that have been coming out. It's not a bad figure, but I just don't feel like I'm getting the value that I used to get with a lot of these releases. I feel like they're pumping out a lot more figures and giving a lot less um, but that's just my opinion. Do I think you should add this to your collection? I think it, it is needed for your collection, uh, but I wouldn't jump on it right away. Maybe I'd wait for a sale. You know, Target has been clearancing the hell out of Legends, so um, if you're not that excited to get it, I'd say kind of hold out for a little bit, maybe get a good deal on them, then add them to your collection. But I do think the figure turned out uh, spectacular. I do like the head sculpt. Uh, the attire does look pretty good. Uh, my biggest complaint, and it will always be my complaint on these kind of civilian bodies, is the shoe mold for these figures. They just do not stand well, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, but before you guys go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. I will catch you all on the next one.